good afternoon students welcome to hardcore to class uh, in this practical class let us study about genetic problems on tri hybrid cross and also multiple allelism so first let us study the tri hybrid cross so genetic problems on tri hybrid cross a tri hybrid cross is between two individuals that are heterozygous for three different traits so here the cross is between individuals which differ in three traits so in the example you are going to know how the three examples are going to sorry three uh, different traits or characters are going to uh, cross so for example the p shape the p color and also the pod shape these are the example for tri hybrid cross and let us look on to the uh, problems the first problem is in garden p round is completely dominant to wrinkled and green completely dominant to yellow and smooth pods being completely dominant to constricted pods so the question is the round is completely dominant to wrinkled green is dominant to yellow and smooth pod is dominant to constricted pods and therefore the homozygous dominant and heterozygous individual will have smooth pods while homozygous recessive individuals will have constricted p pods so here what happens the homozygous dominant and heterozygous individuals will have the smooth pod but the homozygous recessive individuals are going to have a constricted p pods then what are phenotypic and genotypic ratios of following crosses so we have to identify the phenotypic and also genotypic ratios of the the given crosses the cross which is given is capital r small r capital y small y and capital c small c and is self crossed so let us look on to the solution so first the parents it is round green smooth pea plant is crossed with round green smooth pea plant so the genotype is round so it is heterozygous capital r small r capital y small y capital c and small c and is crossed with a capital r small r capital y small small y and capital c small c so next is the gametes so it is a tri hybrid cross so it is differ from the di hybrid cross while writing the gametes so we should consider first we have to write capital r and uh, in front of the capital r you have to write capital y capital c so next in front of capital r you have to write small y small c then in front of capital r capital y small c and next in front of the capital r you have to write small y and capital c so by this after you write uh, like this the gametes uh, what the gametes are going to produce r capital r capital y capital c capital r uh capital y small c capital r small y capital c and also capital r small y and small c so these are four gametes next again you also write small r so in front of small r just write down capital y and capital c next small y small c next capital y small c next small y 
and capital C. So next the gametes what we got is small r capital Y capital C small r small y small c small r capital Y small c then small r small y and capital C. So these are the gametes. So next is the crossing. So we have to write the gametes in the checkerboard. So after writing the gametes we have to make the crosses. So for example let us uh, know the cross between capital R, capital Y and capital C. So then the obtained product is capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y and capital C, capital C. So here what the product we got is round, yellow, smooth. If there will be the presence of capital R then it represent round. If it is a capital Y it is going to represent yellow and if it is capital C it is going to represent smooth. If in case there will be the presence of small r then the product will be wrinkled and if the uh, if the product is small y then it represent green and if the product is small c then it represent constricted. So this is the case. So after plotting the checkerboard the obtained result is the phenotypic ratio will be 27 is to 9 is to 9 is to 3 is to 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So here 27 number of round green smooth plants are obtained and 9 number of round green constricted 9 number of round yellow smooth and 3 number of round yellow constricted 9 wrinkled green smooth 3 wrinkled green constricted 3 wrinkled yellow smooth and also 1 wrinkled yellow constricted so this is about the phenotypic ratio that is 27 is to 9 is to 9 is to 3 is to 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 like that the genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 2 is to 4 is to 2 1 is to 2 is to 1 2 is to 4 is to 2 4 is to 2 is to 4 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. So this is about the genotypic ratio. So one number of capital R capital Y capital C like that. Two number of capital R capital R capital Y capital Y capital C and small c. Like this the genotypic ratio will be shown in the present cross. So this is about the genotypic and phenotypic ratios of trihybrid cross. So next is a problems on multiple allelism. So multiple alleles. What is the meaning of multiple alleles? So these are three or more alternative forms of a genes that can occupy the same locus. So the alternative forms of gene if they are going to occupy the same locus then it is considered as multiple alleles. So in this multiple alleles let us look at uh, some of the problems. So first problem is so the note is given in the problem pollen grain contain S1 allele fails to grow in the style of a plant carries same allele. So they have given the note if S1 allele it is the pollen grain and if it is going to fall on the style of the plant having same S1 allele so next the plant will be sterile. So this is the note given in this problem. So now let, uh, let us look on to the problem in Nicotiana 
if S1, S2 is crossed with S4 and S5, calculate the proportion of wholly and also partly crossed sterile between F1 individuals. So, in this parents that is S1, S2 and S4, S5, when the cross is made, what will be the individuals are going to produce and in what number the sterile and fertile individuals are going to produce. So, this is the problem. So, first let us move on to the solution. The parents with the genotype that is S1, S2 is crossed with S4, S5. So, gametes are S1, S2, S4 and S5. So, in the F1 individuals, what the uh, products are going to form is S1, S4, S1, S5 and also S2, S4 and S2, S5. So, these are the F1 individuals. Next, what we have to do is, we have to write the possible crosses among the F1 individuals. So, F1 individuals are made to cross. So, possible crosses are S1, S4 is crossed with S1, S5, S1, S4 with S2, S5, S1, S4 with S2, S5 and S1, S4 with S2, S4. Next, S1, S5 with S2, S4, S1, S5 with S2, S5 and S2, S4 with S2, S5. So, these are the possible crosses and among these possible crosses, what we have to identify is what the number of sterile and also what the number of fertile individuals in the F1 generation. So, first let us write down the possible cross between S1, S4 and S1, S5. So, these are the parents. So, gametes are S1 and S4 and S1 and S5. So, F1 individuals are S1, 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 S5, S4, S1 and S4, S5. So, first the word the note they have given in the multiple allelism is if S1 pollen is fall on S1 style then the result will be sterile. So, in this condition the individual S1, S1 is a sterile whereas S1, S5, S4, S1, S4, S5 these are a fertile individuals. So, the result is 1 is to 3 that is 1 is sterile while 3 are fertile therefore F1 individuals are partial sterile. So second one is when S1 S4 crossed with S2 S5. So these are the genotype and gamete is S1 S4 and S2 S4. So here the F1 individuals are S1, S2, S1, S4, S2, S4 and S4, S4. Here also we are going to obtain a one sterile individual among F1 offsprings. So, uh, uh, three are fertile and one is sterile and the result is three is to one that is three are fertile and one is sterile. Therefore, F1 individuals are partial sterile. So third case S1 S4 crossed with S2 S5. So here let us write the parents and also gametes and the F1 individuals are S1 S2 S1 S5 S4 S2 and S4 S5. So, here the product what they are formed in the F1 individuals all are fertile. So, all the individuals are fertile. There is no presence of a sterile individuals. 
So next is a S1 S5 crossed with S2 S4. So let us write the parents and also gametes and the F1 individuals are S1 S2 S1 S4 S5 S4 and S2 S4. So here also all the individuals are fertile. Next S1 S5 is crossed with S2 S5. So let us write the parents and also gametes. The, for, the formed F1 individuals are S1, S2, S1, S5, S5, S2 and S5, S5. So here the three individuals are fertile and one is a sterile. So sterile it's having a S5 and S5. So therefore 3 is to 1. The result is 3 is to 1 that is 3 are fertile and one is sterile therefore the f1 individuals are partial sterile so then the next last possible cross this that is s2 s4 crossed with s2 s5 so in this case let us write the parents and also gametes and the formed f1 individuals are s2 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 s5 s4 s2 and also S4, S5. So in this case we are going to observe one sterile individual that is S2 and S2. So the result is 1 is to 3. 1 is sterile and 3 are fertile. Therefore F1 individuals are partial sterile. So this is regarding the problem on multiple allelism. So next problem on multiple allelism is in the following three problems. So in this case uh, there are three sub problems or three sub questions are given. So we are going to determine the blood group of parents with the genotype. So first question among the tenth problem is one parent with blood group A and other with blood group B but all four groups are represented among the children. So here the parents with blood group A and blood group B are going to cross and when the blood group A and B are going to cross the progenies they are going to form is of four types of blood group. So first one the possible crosses what we have to write is for a blood group A that is IA IA crossed with IB IB that is parent A with the blood group A and parent with the blood group B like that only the second possible cross IA IA crossed with IB and IO so next Third possible cross IA IO crossed with IB IB and the fourth is IA IO crossed with IB IO. So these are the four possible crosses and now let us check one by one. So let's uh, first let us check the fourth one that is IA IO crossed with IB IO that is blood group A crossed with blood group B the genotype is IA I0 crossed with IB I0 or IA IO the gametes are IA IO IB IO and offsprings are IA IB IA IO IB IO and also IO IO by this the possible cross dot is fourth one is going to give a four groups that are represented among the children. So that is A, B group, A group, B group and also O blood group. So the result is children show all the four group of blood and the genotype of parents is IA, IO and IB, IO. 
So next, among the tenth problem, the sub problem is both the parents having blood group A, but three fourth of the children belong to blood group A, and one fourth of the children belongs to blood group O. So the problem given is here the both parents are. belonging to blood group a and the offsprings what the offsprings are produced are 3/4 of children having blood group a 1/4 of children belong to blood group o so this is the result that is 3/4 with blood group a and 1/4 of children with blood group o so now let us write the possible process I A I A cross with I A I A. So this is one possible cross. Next I A I A cross with I A I O. And third one is I A I O cross with I A I O. So now let us take the third possible cross. Let us write the parents. That is blood group with A and blood group with A. And genotype is I A I O I A I O. gametes and the possible offsprings are ia io ia 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 io and io io so here the result obtained is 3/4 of children with a blood group a and 1/4 of children with blood group o hence the genotype of parent blood is ia io and i a i o so the possible offsprings produced are 3 4 that is 3 among the four individuals are having blood group a and one among the four offsprings belongs to blood group o so third question among the 10th problem one parent with blood group a b and other with blood group b but 1/4 of children with blood group a 1/4 of children with blood group ab and 1 1 by 2 of children with blood group b so the problem is here the parent that is belongs to blood group ab crossed with the parent belong to blood group b and the offsprings produced of 1/4 of children with blood group a that is among the four offsprings one will be of blood group a and among the 1/4 uh, one will be of uh, ab and half of the children will be of blood group b so let us write the possible crosses that is ia ib cross with ib ib and ia ib cross with ib ivo so let us write the first cross the parents are blood group with ab and blood group b when it is crossed the genotype ia ib 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 so the gametes formed are ia ib and also ib so the offsprings produced are ia ib 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 but here what the uh, solution what the offsprings produced in the uh, cross is not satisfied that is 1 by 2 of children with ab blood group and 1 by 2 of children with blood group b hence the genotype of parents blood is not ia ib and ib ib so this is not a genotype of the parents because uh, one among the two offsprings are with the ab blood group and one among the two offspring is of b blood group but here there is the absence of a blood group so this is not a possible parents with the genotype so let us uh, solve the possible cross that is ia ib cross with 
आई बी आई वो सो इयर इज द पेरेंट्स ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी एंड ब्लड ग्रुप बी जीनो टाइप आई ए आई बी आई बी आई ओ एंड गैमेट्स आई ए आई बी एंड ऑल्सो आई बी आई ओ द ऑफस्प्रिंग प्रोड्यूस्ड आर आई ए आई बी आई ए आई नॉट आई बी आई बी एंड ऑल्सो आई बी आई नॉट सो हियर द ऑफस्प्रिंग्स प्रोड्यूस्ड विथ अ ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप ए एंड ऑल्सो ब्लड ग्रुप बी सो हियर वन इंडिविजुअल विथ ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी वन विथ ब्लड ग्रुप ए एंड टू इंडिविजुअल विथ अ ब्लड ग्रुप बी सो वन फोर्थ ऑफ चिल्ड्रन विथ ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप वन फोर्थ ऑफ चिल्ड्रन विथ ब्लड ग्रुप ए एंड ऑल्सो वन बाई टू ऑफ चिल्ड्रन विथ ब्लड ग्रुप बी हैंड्स द जीनो टाइप ऑफ पेर एंड ब्लड इज आई ए आई बी एंड आई बी आई वो सो दिस इज द रिजल्ट रिगार्डिंग द प्रॉब्लम सो बाय दिस इन दिस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम्स रिगार्डिंग द ट्राई हाइब्रिड क्रॉस एंड ऑल्सो द मल्टीपल एलिजम सो इन द मल्टीपल एलिजम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट थ्री मोर एग्जाम्पल्स सो दिस इज यूर ट्राई हाइब्रिड क्रॉस एंड ऑल्सो मल्टीपल एलिजम practical class thank you